22nd June. Welcome to today's audio devotion by Reverend Paddy Aqua. Today's topic, Seeing from God's Perspective, Part 1, Jeremiah 6.16. Thus saith the Lord, Stand ye in the ways, and see, and ask for the old paths, where is the good way, and walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, We will not walk therein. We are in times that people are looking, but they are not seeing. Looking means to turn or focus the eyes at a particular point. Seeing means looking at a direction, but with an anticipation to be informed of something, or to comprehend or to understand something. To look is different from to see. Most of us can be deceived that we are Christians because we are only looking and not seeing. The point of seeing becomes a platform for a vision for you, and the point of vision becomes a platform for courage for you, and the point of courage becomes a platform for faith for you. Because the Bible says, the righteous does not walk by sight, but by faith. If you want to advance in life, it depends on what you are seeing, not merely what you are looking at. This is why the Lord told Abraham to leave his father's house and his kindred and go to a place he would show him. Genesis 12.1 Abraham didn't just listen to what God was saying. He saw through God's words, perceiving the vision God had for him. Those who truly see rather than just look often confuse others because seeing involves deeper understanding and anticipation of God's plans. Seeing is an act of faith and vision. The Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians 5-7, For we walk by faith, not by sight. We see with the anticipation of perceiving something beyond just the immediate direction, which is why we talk about having visions rather than looking at visions. When you are seeing well, you don't care about the opinions of others. What matters is what God is saying. True vision allows us to be where God is, not where he used to be. Therefore, it's essential to transition from merely looking to truly seeing, and to pray for the eyes to move from looking to seeing. In this new month, I counsel you to anoint your eyes so that you may truly see. Revelation 3.18 says, I counsel you to buy from me gold refined by fire, so that you may be rich, and white garments so that you may clothe yourself and the shame of your nakedness may not be seen, and salve to anoint your eyes so that you may see. Eyes that see are rare, but eyes that look are very common. Let us stop looking and start seeing, because when you begin to see, you talk less and start incubating God's plans within you. The Lord asked Jeremiah to go to the potter's house, promising to show him something significant. Jeremiah 18, 1-6 At the potter's house, Jeremiah observed the potter molding clay. When the potter damaged what he was working on, Jeremiah questioned why. This illustrates that while others might perceive failure, God who sees the end from the beginning, Isaiah 46.10, is remolding and preparing you behind the scenes. What remains is your physical manifestation. To advance in life, see from God's point of view. This requires faith, patience, and a willingness to look beyond immediate circumstances to the greater plans God has in store. Romans 8.28 assures us that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to His purpose. When you focus on seeing rather than just looking, you align yourself with God's vision and this spiritual insight becomes a guiding force in your life. Today's prayer, Father, I come before you with a heart yearning to see beyond the ordinary, 
I ask for your divine anointing on my eyes so that I may transition from merely looking to truly seeing. Grant me the vision to perceive your plans and purposes for my life, just as Abraham saw through your promises and trusted in your guidance. Help me to be sensitive to your voice and to understand your will even when it seems confusing to others. Let my focus be on what you are saying and showing, rather than on the opinions and judgments of those around me. Strengthen my faith so that I can see where you are leading me, and not just where you have been. Lord, I pray for the wisdom to incubate the visions you have placed in my heart. Teach me to speak less and to meditate more on your words and promises. As Jeremiah learned at the potter's house, may I also understand that perceived failures are often part of your process of remolding and preparing me for greater things. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. If you love this audio devotion, kindly subscribe, like, and share this channel. Have a blessed day. Pass Karis and God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.